Hi folks, I'm Mark Johnson, and uh, I'm looking at another log cabin today over by uh, Rochester. And uh, this was actually built by a um, fellow who built log homes for a living, and he did a really great job. One of the first cabins I've found that in a long time with no rot on it. And it's because he has these gigantic overhangs on the each gable end and, the, and at the eaves there's a almost a two foot overhang that was framed and then they hung the steel over another foot so um, this home is really well protected and he started sandblasting it to refinish it when he was 90 years old and actually never finished the job. So that's what I'm here for is to, um, to blast it down and get all this white stain off of it. The, the caulking looks to be in really good shape, but there's some, there's some failure. There's some up-facing check right here that um, definitely needs to be redone. But uh, between the between the gable end overhang and this four foot wide um, deck on each end, the uh, logs are just uh, really protected well. So here you can see where the uh, stain removal starts and stops. He's, he's taking it off over here and. And uh, the garage is actually a little bit further along, but I love the way he, he protected all of these um, logs that stick out of the um, inside of the cabin. They're untreated, of course, and most people don't uh, pay as much attention to that as as he did. Um, we got. 2 by 12 deck boards that are spanning almost 6 feet here but they're full 2 inches thick and they can easily they can easily handle that um, oh there's a uh, there's a little log building over there that we're going to go look at that's made out of reclaimed logs hand hewn and then he's got a log garage over here which we're going to um, look at uh, as well but here we've got a l large five foot overhang on this side <coughs> which is protecting it and over here we've got another five foot overhang but the soffit's not finished on it so that's one of the things that we're going to uh, price out in our uh, budget proposal for this. Here you can see how um, much of the stain has been re removed. Th these logs on the crowns here, um, you can never get that off. So that's usually going to have to be ground down in order to get that off. Um, looking at the chinking here, it's the chinking is white and I don't know how well the stain is going to cover that. Um, that's the only bad thing about the white chinking. Um, but anyhow, Maybe it'll take stain. Right, and then over here on the, I guess on the front of the building, where the garage doors are. That's been stripped, and the house still has the white on it. So, regarding these deck boards, we should do something there to put some bore on preservative on them or something and um, 
help them bear the weather better. Well, that's it for the house. I'm going to go look at the barn or the uh, garage now. Thanks for watching.